Hey, Lynn. My name's Tony. I'm with a company called Groove Web Services right down here in Bradenton. I reached out to your company on Friday, quickly spoke to Whitney, let her know I wanted to shoot you guys this free video. It'll be about six to eight minutes long. It's going to go over a couple of tips on how you guys can increase your online presence in a manner that will actually generate you some additional business. Um, I do this for free. The only thing I ask is, if at all possible, if I could get some feedback on the video, just reply to the email, let me know what you thought. That would be awesome. Um, with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go over here to Google. I'm going to look up Roofing Tampa. It's one of the main keywords in the area for roofing. Um, you get your you know, Google guaranteed paid ads, but we're not going to talk about that today. Um, we're going to look at a couple of ranking factors that Google um, has when it comes to where it places your website in its search engine. Ranking factor number one is called a citation. Um, so we've got the map pack here. About 70% of searches will end up calling or clicking one of these three companies. Um, so this is prime real estate. One of the main ways to get your company's website up to the top here is through a citation. A citation is nothing more than your company name, address, phone number, and website out on directory sites on the web. We're talking about sites like yellowpages.com, Yelp, uh, Angie's List, Thumbtack. There's like 400 of these things. You can just Google citation websites and uh, you'll get lists of these things. If you can add your company to a handful of those per week for some number of weeks, over time you will start going higher in the listings here. Ranking factor number two is uh, for the organic results. These are considered organic results under the map pack. These are highly affected by backlinks. What is a backlink? Um, a backlink is just your website's URL in a clickable format on another website. Not all backlinks are created equal. There are spammy backlinks that you don't want to have anything to do with. Um, if you have your way, you're going to want backlinks from related uh, niche websites. So um, construction blogs uh, would be a good one. You can always you know, provide an article on roofing to construction blogs. Oftentimes the webmasters will give you back a link to your website. Um, and that is a power, that would be considered a powerful link. Um, so yeah, that's one example. So let's quickly look at the third ranking factor. I'm going to open up a couple of your uh, competitors here. So number one is Westfall Roofing and then Home Advisor BBB. Owens Corning is not a contractor. Dynasty Roofing Solutions would be the second one. So ranking factor number three is content. Google content, uh, Google values content very highly. We suggest 1500 to 2000 words on a home page. Not only does this make Google happy, um, it also allows you to get the keywords that are searched for your service out in Tampa and surrounding areas onto your website. So without coming off as spammy. So if we look down here, we're Tampa roofing contractor. So that's a good keyword. Um, decent amount of content here. Professional Tampa roofing contractor. Roofing Okay, so you've got a maybe two to three hundred words, maybe four hundred. Nothing crazy, but no, I've seen I've seen some that are uh, way worse off. So you're doing okay there. Um, not a whole lot of keywords that I could see, but some. So Dynasty Building Solutions, Tampa Bay Flooring Roofing Contractors. Um, yeah, they're not doing too hot here either. So these guys would be easy to beat. And then Westfall, they're in first place. Let's see what they're looking like. Um, a few images, another images. Roofing contractor, West Central Florida. Uh, nobody's going to search for that that way. So that's a wasted keyword, I think. All right, well, your two major competitors here for this keyword are not you know, they're not blowing my mind with their content. So that the good thing is, is that they're easy to beat when it comes to that ranking factor. So you get 1500 words on your homepage, you'll be killing them. Um, I'm going to move westfallroofing.com over here into this product called AREFs. This shows us a picture of what Google knows about a specific website. 
So remember we were talking about backlinks. So they've got about 1,080 backlinks over 194 websites. And that's they're being found for 814 keywords approximately. And this tool thinks they're getting 1,500 clicks a month, which I don't think is probably right. Yeah, no. So roofing Tampa, for whatever reason, so it says it gets searched 300 times a month, and they're in position one, and it's giving them 320 clicks for 300 searches. So that's wrong. Um, it should be like 95. You see here, 300 searches here, and they're position 195. So um, either way it goes, that's still 95 clicks for one keyword. Um, if we go down, the kind of keywords we're looking for are like this niche and then city, Roofers Tampa, 350 searches a month. They're in position one, getting 71 clicks for that one. Um, I think their algorithm for the amount of traffic may be off. You get about a third of the clicks um, when you're in first position, 150, 155. So if we add this all up, they're going to get a few hundred. Let's say they're getting 300 clicks for um, those uh, buyer intent keywords we were just looking at. 30 new roofs a month for organic traffic that you're not paying for ads for. I'd take it. Um, let's compare that to your site here. I'm going to go over here. Um, 2,260 backlinks over 122 domains. So you've done some, I can tell you've done some SEO. Um, let's look here. I'm sorry. What was your seven traffic? What is going on here? Um, all right. Your traffic is not coming from, oh, wow. Okay. So roofing Tampa, you're in uh, 300 search. You're on the third page. And you just fell back 13 positions. Largo Roofing Company. You've got some Largo keywords here, but you're on page two for that. Roofing Contractors, Tampa, Florida, 40. Okay, so you're falling back onto page two and three for a lot of these keywords. And it looks like you might be falling backwards. So what I'm wondering is if some of the backlinking that was done for you actually had some, some links that you don't want to have. You can actually, it's called disavowing backlinks. So going through your Google account, you can actually tell Google, I don't want these backlinks. Um, and they will actually remove them so that you're not going backwards in your ranking. I'm not sure without looking closer if that's 100% what's going on. But as you can see, your, your traffic value is way lower than your main competitor. So we'd want to get some more powerful links and potentially get rid of some of the ones that were bad. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful. That's all I have for you today. Um, you know, can't do much in a in an eight minute video. If this was useful, please reply back. Let me know what you thought. Um, if for whatever reason you want to look into this further, obviously this is what I do. I'd be happy to talk. So feel free to reach out. All right, Lynn. With that, I will let you go. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.